Less than 48 hours after the deadly bombing at Kabul airport by the Islamic State of offshoot ISIS-K, the U.S. launched an airstrike. It came immediately after U.S. President Joe Biden's promise to retaliate for the attack. Our Om ji has more. The United States military conducted an airstrike against the Islamic State in retaliation for the devastating suicide bombing attack at Kabul airport. U.S. Central Command said the military carried out a drone strike on Saturday against an Islamic State member in Nangarhar province, Afghanistan. The unmanned strike killed one person the U.S. believes to be the Islamic State planner of the attacks against the U.S. in Kabul. CNBC reported that the targeted individual was riding in a car with an associate at the time of the strike. This came less than 48 hours after Thursday's suicide blast in Kabul airport, and spokesman Navy Captain William Urban said they knew of no civilian casualties due to this strike. But no detailed explanation was given on whether that individual was directly involved in the bombing at Kabul airport. A defense official said U.S. President Joe Biden authorized the drone strike after his promise made on Thursday to retaliate against perpetrators of the airport attack. To those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this, we will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. According to local health officials, the death toll from the Kabul airport attack has reached around 170 and at least 1,300 were injured. Also, U.S. Central Command said at least 13 U.S. service members were killed. The White House said that another terror attack is likely in Kabul. The national security team the president met with this morning advised the president and vice president that another terror attack in Kabul is likely. Uh, and they are uh, taking maximum force protection measures at the Kabul airport. But President Biden said although the U.S.-led emergency evacuation mission is dangerous and comes with a significant loss of American personnel, they will complete the mission. Om Jiyong, Arirang News.